welcome to the second Tai Chi for osteoporosis class. Yesterday we did moves one, two, three, and four. I will do them all now with you just to remind you. But before I do, I want to remind you about some principles that we need to remember. Always, when we're moving sideways or looking to the front, Keep your feet parallel as much as possible. That's not parallel. Try to keep them parallel. Always try to keep your knees soft. And when we start a form, we bend them and we try to stay at this level for the rest of the form. The other thing is always keep your back straight. When you go back, don't lean back. When you go forward, don't lean forward. Your knees are bent. You're sitting in your back and bottom area. Sit there, keep your back straight. And the last thing, whatever we do, we want to imagine there's a, a resistance. Imagina resistencia. Uh, con cada movimiento, cada movimiento is a resistance. I need to push through that resistance. Whatever I do is a resistance this way, resistance that way. Try to remember those four things today. Let's do it from yes where we started yesterday. Let's start off like this. Feet parallel, breathe in, and out as we sink down. Open and close. We're going to go into cloud hands. Take a step, keep your feet parallel, come across. Again, step, come across. For the last time, we take a step to the side, keep your feet parallel, finish, come all the way back to the right, bring your hands to the same height, come to the middle, open, and close. We're going to brush knee now. I shift my weight, I turn my right foot, I prepare my arms, I go to this leg, change my hands, and press forward. One. Go back, turn, prepare your hands, bring them towards your ear, and go forward. One more. Prepare your hands, bring them towards your ear, press forward. Last one, prepare your hands, bring it towards you, take that down, press forward. That's where we finished yesterday. What happens is I stand with my feet parallel and open and close. You can't see that because my back is to you. But what happened? I finished brushing, I moved, transferred my weight, I stood with my feet parallel, and again, I opened and closed. In this form, Tai Chi for osteoporosis, this movement happens six times. It's a nice connection from one move to another. Each time we finish a move, do it open and close. So I'll do that again. We finish brush knee. I transfer my weight. I step forward, feet parallel, bring my hands to the same height, open and close. Remember that open and close, it's not like this. My fingertips where possible, as much as possible, point to the ceiling. Point to the ceiling. And I open and close. It's not here by my chest, 
Please don't do that. If it's not there, so I'm going to compromise my posture. Nice and relaxed. Open and close. It's a really nice jiggle move, and we need to enjoy this move. Feel comfortable when we're in this move. And it prepares us for the next move. So, finish there. Bring my feet together, my hands together, open and close. Now I'm just going to demonstrate. I'm going to do a left toe kick and a right toe kick. Let's just work the hands first. My feet are parallel. Just with resistance, open your hands. Open your hands like you're opening your curtain. Here, open your hands. Also, because I'm going to kick in that direction, when I do this, I look at my left hand. This way, I look over my right hand. The point I'm making is my hands are doing the same thing. You saw me from the side, my hands would be doing the same thing. This way. Let's do the kick. My feet are parallel. I don't need you to turn your foot to kick straight. If you kick in this direction, your foot is already turned. So what we're doing, we're getting ready. I'm just going to show you the legs. I look that way and I transfer the weight into this leg. Transfer the weight into this leg. I bring this leg up, however it's high is comfortable for you, and I kick with the toe. Just kick with the toe, but keep this leg. I put it down straight, transfer my weight, and I kick with this toe. Let's do it together. I turn. I take my leg up and I move my hands. Only once, I'm just doing it a few times so you can see the connection. Then I stand down, transfer my weight, bring up my leg and keep with the toe and open my hands. That's what I'm asking you to do. I'm going to do it from the back. You won't see my hands so well just so that you can follow me. We finish brush knee. Bring my feet together. Open. Close. Get ready for this kick. Open the hands. Close. Transfer your weight. Get ready for this kick. Open your hands. Step back. Do it one more time with you from the front, then we move on to number six. So I transfer my weight, pick up my leg, and I kick. Just look over that leg. Come back, transfer my weight, and I kick. Bring this foot back, and then together. Now we had to do number six, repulse the monkey. So we've come down. I press forward. I look back at my hand. They reach the same height. I open this one, bring this towards my ear, and I step back to there. That's just one of them. Step back, but I put all my weight in this leg, so there's no weight in this one. Let's do that again. Press forward. Open your hands, bring this forward. Get ready to step back. Step back, sit on that leg, so there's nothing there. Keep going. Open this hand, bring it towards you. Change, go back. No weight in this leg. 
Okay. Bring it back. Take that step. Left knee in this leg. Change. One more step back. I need to show you the finish of that. If if I made a mark on the floor, when I start my form, I want to finish on that mark and I finish it. Most schools will teach when we finish the last move, we step forward, back to open and close. Feel free to step, we finish this move, step back, if that puts you on your mark. For me, I step back. You can see the difference, you understand the difference. Let's do that one more time and then we'll do the whole form from the beginning. To open and close. Press to repulse the monkey. Open both hands, bring this towards you. Transfer your weight to this leg and Step back to there. Sit on this leg so there's no weight in this one. You can keep your toe on the floor. It's fine. Keep going. Open this hand. Bring it towards you. Wait for it. Transfer this leg in a little arch and sit on that leg. Come back. Bring it towards you. Transfer this one. And one more, transfer this one, there, and step forward. Let's go from the very beginning, see if you can follow the whole thing. Where do we start? The space is very limited, so I'm going to start over here. Going to step back, otherwise you won't see my kick. From here, open and close. I transfer my weight, bring up my leg to my toe kick. Come back, transfer my weight, bring up my leg to my toe kick. So this is where we go. Impulse the monkey.
So that takes us to move number six. Tomorrow we will finish this form. We do move seven and eight. Seven is cloud hands to right, and eight is the closing form. So feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Thank you very much.